You can choose how the D3000 sets exposure by using the metering modes. The exposure meter will tell the camera or user how much light to allow into the image sensor for a properly exposed image. Note, exposure metering modes are only available in P, S, A, and M modes on the mode dial. The exposure indicator is a scale that appears in the viewfinder and on the information display. The scale has a zero in the middle and a plus and minus sign on each side. A setting of zero indicates optimal exposure. The more lines that appear to the right side of the scale toward the minus, the more the image will be underexposed. If lines appear toward the left side of the scale, the plus sign, then the image will be overexposed. If the image is underexposed, the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO should be adjusted to let more light hit the sensor. If the image is overexposed, again, adjust the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO to allow less light to hit the sensor. The exposure meter reads the amount of light in a particular area of the frame and indicates exposure based on that light. The D3000 has three different metering modes the camera can use to make that reading. To change the metering mode, you can access them on the information display. Press the Info button to bring up the display. Press the Information Edit button to have the cursor appear in the display. Highlight the metering mode using the multi-selector buttons and press OK. The first option is Matrix Metering. This looks at the entire image within the frame to determine proper exposure. The meter averages all areas of the frame to get the meter reading. This is a good general purpose metering mode when you do not need a specific metering for any particular area of the frame. The next option is the center weighted metering setting. This averages the center areas of the frame to get the exposure meter reading. This is great metering for portraits. Spot metering takes the light reading from a very small area of the frame. The camera will meter the currently selected focus point. This will ensure that you get a correctly exposed subject if the background happens to be much brighter or darker than the subject. 